Any other quick tips, suggestions uh, for folks to, uh, how do they build relationship? You know, this, is the, this is the most fundamental question of all questions. They get to know somebody, they go to an event, like you said, go to a local church or a Rotary Club or, um, you know, volunteer events or country club, whatever you want to call them. And um, how do you wind up not trying to sell, but instead trying to build a relationship? I think it's mm-hmm. the most fundamental question because a lot of people go there with an agenda and your agenda is to meet people. Other people's agenda is to raise money. And sometimes you can't get, you know, you can't put the carriage ahead of the horse. You, you got to build right. a relationship first. That's How right. How do you do that? So, uh, you know, I practice and I teach all the time when you are getting involved, particularly with a new group, say it's a civic group or whatever, you know, in your local area. Um, and by the way, I have raised a lot of money and I've had just a fantastic relationship with BNI organizations, right? BNI.org. And uh, Ivan Meisner started that group. And so I teach and I practice, go to these organizations giving value. What can you bring? What can you offer to the group as a participant in the group? One big thing that you can offer to do is volunteer to serve in these different groups in, um, you know, in whatever kind of capacity, you know, like if it's your local RIA group or if it's your local, you know, you can be a member in, in, in a lot of realtor associations and not be a realtor yourself. Well, volunteer to check people in at the group, volunteer to, you know, take money at the door, be a volunteer, be a servant, go there sincerely with a servant's heart. And you're going to be quickly recognized uh, as someone that's trustworthy. um, And that's just not there to be a taker. I mean, you know, you and I experienced the same thing in our, in our mastermind group. I mean, all of us in that mastermind group, we have got the attitude of what can I do for you? Because it's like Zig Ziglar says, you know, if I can have everybody else get enough of what they're looking for, I'm not going to have to worry about me. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's the right attitude. It's a servant's attitude. Uh, it does take an investment of time and effort and energy, uh, and it is not for everyone. You have to be genuinely servant in heart. If you are not, you're not going to enjoy it, and it's not going to flow well. But it is it is a time commitment. It is an effort commitment, uh, and as long as it you feel great about it. It, 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 it brings warmth to your heart, helping others, then you'll do well through that process. Mm-hmm.